everybody. You are live today with pop artist Perry Milo during Art of the Carolinas, and we are here to show you another free art lesson. Now today, we're going to create a fabulous kids project, a 3D Vincent Van Gogh flower vase based on the famous sunflower painting by Van Gogh. Now, easy to do when you're done drinking your bottle of wine, get your empty, and I've already finished the first step. I've gessoed the bottle white. Gesso is the premature that canvases are primed with. You could buy it inexpensively, and it gets rid of the glass tone of the wine bottle. Just paint it white. Then what I do is, because we're doing like a Van Gogh scene, I'm going to go into some blues, some whites, and almost create a sky feel to my bottle using a flat brush, large, and I'm using acrylic paint, using broad strokes, and I'm covering the gesso as a ground. Now, just because I'm doing a sky doesn't mean you have to do a sky. You could go with any color you want. You can make stripes, polka dots, whatever you want to do as a background for your vase or your vase. A vase, if it's uh, more expensive, that is. I always like Van Gogh's skies. I'm not painting this in a Van Gogh genre. I'm just firing in color, gradating it lighter, so it kind of takes on a cloud feel. Now, I have one done. It might take you a few layers to finish covering your bottle because you should put a few coats of the gesso on. And as you can see, it's not even looking like any of the previous green glass that you might see or red glass from a wine bottle. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to show you the finished one. Voila. Okay, a couple coats. Done. Next thing, I'll put this to the side. Another inexpensive product. Styrofoam plate. This is going to become your sunflower. I take a Sharpie and uh, on the back I start drawing the petals of a sunflower. Real easy. Doesn't have to be a sunflower. Could be a tulip. Could be any flower your child likes. A rose would be uh, really impressive if you can make that. Now I, li I like to use an exacto knife, but you can certainly use scissors. Safety scissors for your kids. That'll cut real easy. I'm going to bang this out with my exacto knife real quickly. The trick to using the knife is keep your other hand out of the way. My petals are going flying. I like the styrofoam plates, they're very thin, they're very easy to cut. Pull them out. Okay, now you can see I have the basis for my flower. I want to trim my edges and give them a nice point. Okay, now, very nice. You're starting to see how it's going to come together. Okay, uh, sunflowers, they're usually yellow. Although I have seen red ones. No, I don't have red. Orange, yellow, acrylics brush, fresh water, always, okay, uh, my center is going to be orange, I'm firing that in, look at that, new brush, I like to have a brush for every color, then you know you're getting somewhere. I think Michael Jordan used to wear a new pair of sneakers for every game he ever played. Yellow is going on. I'm going to show you this flower real quick. Have fun. Use big brush strokes. You can see it's blending in a little bit of the orange, but 
Flowers have movement, they're alive. Let it sing, let it dance, let it swirl a little. This is the pop artist Perry Milo, and we're gonna be back. Check out my website, check out my free art lessons, and we'll continue and you'll see how this wraps up. Thanks.